Welcome to week three of Kids City Virtual. I'm so excited you guys are here and joining us um, for our Easter series. And um, last week, I hope you were able to tune in when we talked about the story of Peter and how Peter denied Jesus. He was afraid for his life. And so he said that he never knew Jesus, that he didn't know what they were talking about. He was never with Jesus. He wasn't friends with Jesus. He was afraid for his life. And so he was trying to defend himself. And in turn, he failed Jesus. He denied knowing him and he lied. And we talked about our fear and how our fear can get in the way of us doing what's right and standing up for Jesus, the one who gave his life for us. How could we let him down in that way? And yet Peter was afraid. And so if you joined us last week, you will remember we talked about when we are afraid, we can pray. And so today we learned the story about the two men who were hanging on the cross beside Jesus. And the one man was making fun of him and mocking him. There were two men hanging on crosses on either side of Jesus. Both men were criminals who had earned their punishment. They were sinners and they knew they deserved to die. But Jesus had committed no crime and no sin. So why was he up there? One of the two thieves knew Jesus was an innocent man. He placed his faith in Jesus, and he even asked Jesus to forgive him. And Jesus made him a promise. He looked at him, and he said, all right, see you in heaven. Right? He forgave him. <laughs> and he said, today you will be with me in paradise. Today you will be with me in heaven. The Bible tells us that all of us are sinners, and that the punishment for sin is death. Jesus conquered both sin and death on the cross. And because he shed his blood for us, he can forgive our sins. The thief on the cross believed and the blood of Jesus covered him, covered his sins. And he was forgiven because he placed his trust in Jesus. When we put our trust in Jesus, he can forgive our sins as well. In the Old Testament, God taught the children of Israel to make sacrifices to show that they were sorry for their sins. The Israelites would sacrifice lambs and goats and doves and other animals to ask for God's forgiveness. Now that seems silly to us now. Why would they have to do that? These sacrifices were acts of obedience, but none of them were enough to pay for all of the sins of God's people. When Jesus died on the cross, he became the final sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Jesus, who never ever sinned, took the punishment for sin on himself, and he conquered both sin and death. And the Bible tells us that anyone who believes in Jesus, anyone who asks Jesus to forgive their sins, will one day be in paradise with him too. They'll be in heaven with Jesus. Because of the sacrifice that Jesus made, and that includes that thief who was on that cross, even though he deserved to be up there, he deserved to be punished for his sins, for what he had done. Jesus looked at him, and by doing, by paying that price on that cross, that man, that thief, was also forgiven. There's nothing any of us can do to make up for our own sins. Try as we might, no amount of good deeds and good works can make up for all of the bad that we have done. One prayer to Jesus, however, is enough to wipe our whole slate clean. Jesus will cover our sins with his own blood and make us his own. Jesus died to forgive your sins and my sins and the sins of everybody in this world. He shed his blood to pay for every selfish action that you and I have ever committed. But if you give Jesus your sins, if you truly ask him for forgiveness, like that thief on the cross, he will forgive you. Let's pray right now. Dear Jesus, we remember today that the sacrifice you made so long ago on the cross, it was a huge sacrifice. You had to suffer, you had to die, but you did it out of love for us 
and we can never repay you for that. But Jesus, because you did that today, I want to remember, God, the sacrifice you made was for me. May I never forget that what you did was for me so I could be forgiven and I could be set free from my sin. And so today I ask that you will forgive me. I ask that you will wipe my sins clean. That you will help me to honor and obey you from this day forward in all that I do. That you will help me to know, Jesus, that you love me so much. For God so loved the world, he sent his only son, that whoever believes in him shall never die, but will have eternal life. And God, I look forward to eternal life with you because of the sacrifice you made for me on that cross. I love you in Jesus' name.